Champ, fight with Holyfield's off. We're gonna see you still return to the ring, Champ. Good night, guys. Got it. What nope. did you say? I said with the Evander Holyfield rematch off, are you still gonna return to the ring, sir? I'm gonna fight Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis? Yeah. Dope. I can't wait to see that. When's it September. gonna happen? September? Yeah. Thanks, Champ. Appreciate you. Bro. <laughs> What's good family? So mash the like button and subscribe. Wow. So we just heard there from your boy Mike. Iron Mike Tyson. Allegedly. Well not allegedly. You heard it out of his own mouth. Mike Tyson is saying he's going to be fighting Lennox Lewis in September. And I am here for all of it. 100%. Now... You man who follow my channel more religiously will know that I'm not optimistic on the AJ and Fury negotiations. That said, these little boxing events, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, all that fruity stuff, that's why I'm not bothered. Or that's a large reason why I'm not bothered. For a little while, or last year, when there wasn't much going on, I was desperate to see some boxing action. Now, we've got Mike Tyson doing little bits and... The JP doing little bits. I couldn't care less. Boxing's in a sad place, unfortunately. We, we, we've we been so long of not getting the things we want. I'm over it. Completely over it. And actually, fair play to Canelo Alvarez. Because he does, genuinely... I know there aren't much big names in his division. But he does get to the work. So fair play to him. But otherwise, the heavyweight division is pathetic. Apart from Anthony Joshua, who who trying to make things happen. Everyone else is a bum. Scary bum. Want to play games. But either way, back to the specific topic, Mike versus Lennox, I'm all for that. Now, Roy Jones let the side down. Roy Jones talked a big game and came to hug. Don't know I want to see that. But what we know is, if this does happen, Lennox ain't going to be doing no hugging. And to be honest, either way, I'm happy to see Mike versus Holofield or Mike versus Lennox. Because of, the, because of their, obviously they're full-fledged heavyweights for a start. But because of their relationship as well, there's no way their man are just going to come and hug. They're going to be vicious if it does happen. And I'm happy to see either of them. There were some talks about Holofield. Now Mike saying Lennox. I'm, listen, I'm down for that, 100%. That'll be amazing because what we saw of Mike, Mike looked alright. If Mike looked really bad like Chuck Liddell did, the, UFC, the former UFC GOAT, Chuck Liddell, he looked awful. If Mike had looked like that, I'd say, nah, don't bother. But Mike looked, obviously, he's never going to be his 25-year-old self or 20-year-old self. But, I mean, I'm for it. <laughs> I'm for it. And I would have loved to have seen that Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones fight in a way was a great introduction. Because because Roy was so negative, it we was begging to see some combinations. We was begging to see some more work. But we didn't get to see it. So it was almost like a perfect introduction. A perfect demo. Now, Lennox or Holofield, that'll be the, the juicy part. Although, what I will say is, I don't want it to be an exhibition. Although I'm not sure how exhibitions really work. Because people were gambling on Mike versus Roy Jones. So, I f I'm sure that was an exhibition. But how can you gamble on an ex exhibition? Is it even real sport? I thought it was fixed. I thought exhibitions is what the, the WWE cats do. No? Either way, all I'm saying is, I want to see Mike versus someone in a proper fight. I don't want to see charity ting. I don't want to see exhibition. I want it to be proper fight. Because this other stuff of, oh, well, we're going to go, we're only going to go to the body. Or to be honest, I don't even mind the body stuff so much. But call it that, innit? If you're just going to, if you're going to have a gentleman's agreement of, oh, well, we're only going to dig to the body, call it that. Say we're going to do an eight round proper fight, max body sparring, no head work. You know what I'm saying? Don't have these little gentleman agreements behind closed doors of, oh, I'm only going to hit you hard to the body. And that is, nah, I don't want to watch that. Don't bother. Call it what it is or don't. Because that Roy Jones thing was was pathetic, if truth be known. Don't know I want to watch that again. Him turning up to hug and, and I wouldn't have minded so much. But the way they sold it, they was, the Roy Jones versus Mike fight, they was selling it like it was going to be a barn burner. Roy was saying, yeah, I've never felt better in my years, and I'm going to go in there, I'm going to show him, I must speed, he can do this, must be, he can do that. And he got in there, and he cacked his pants. Yeah, S-H-I-T'd himself. Don't be doing that, again. Don't know I want to be lulled into that kind of thing. Be honest. 
If you're going to come and only half turn up, say that. <laughs> and I understand that's promotion, but still, I don't want to watch that again. I don't want to watch no Hogfest. But, like I said, Holyfield, Lennox, they're full-fledged heavyweights. And they've got the viciousness of their history. There's no way they're going to be looking to hang on. If they sign to have that fight, they're going to be getting stuck in. And I'm all for it. I can't wait to see Mike let them hands go, because he looked good. And now Mike's even said, oh, I'm better than I was then. Obviously he's not, but he's saying I'm better than I was then, because then I was off all kind of all kind of chemicals. Now I'm just fully committed to training and whatnot. So I can't wait. I can't wait to see them, them hands fly. Them short hooks. We haven't seen no one hooking like that in years. And the, f the little bits we did see look good to me. And, I, and I, I've been, many of us have wanted to see that rematch, Lennox versus Mike. To see a proper Mike, because when Mike fought Lennox, he weren't, he weren't real then, really. He was finished, he was just, he admitted it himself. Obviously, he could be lying, but we know he weren't training. Mike hadn't been training for about 15 years. The last time Mike trained properly was 1988, I think, something like that. Years it was, since he's really been training proper. And when I say training proper, I mean training year round. So, Mike's now training year round again, looking great. I'm not sure what Lennox is doing. I'm hoping Mike ain't just gassing the place up. Who knows? All I know is, I want to see this fight. I want to see Mike versus Holyfield or Mike versus Lennox. I don't see why not either. Because if Roy Jones, credit, credit to him, yes, he lied, yes, he annoyed everyone, but. At least he got in the ring. These other big dons, Lennox. Um, to be fair, Holyfield would, but Lennox needed to get his, get his dusty self, dust himself off. You know what? Lennox has been giving out all the advice about how to do this, how to do that. Get in there and show people. That's what you need to do because these old heads, yeah. If if and when these old heads get back in, they can show up a lot of these young cats. Show these young cats how to fight properly. That's what needs to happen right now. What we need to see is, yeah, we need to see Lennox, Mike, get in there and show these young cats how to get stuck in. Because I'm, I'm sick of this running around business. Show them how to do it. Show them how it's done. Put some, cause what we need is now, yeah, we need to start putting some shame into these young cats. Because these young cats think it's all fruity right now. We need to have these 55-year-old men show them how it's done from the 80s. 80s style. 90s style. Because this whole, oh well, this, this Vladimir Klitschko style of, I'm going to jab and you're going to be running around for 20 rounds. Don't know I want to watch that. I don't want to watch it anyway. I'm sure there'll be some, some biased fans who say they want to watch it. There's some biased Fury fans who say they want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. I want to watch athletes do what athletes are supposed to do. Perform to their best ability. Not, well, I'm going to drag it out because whatever. Because no matter what you say about none, none of them fighters, Mike, even when Mike weren't training... He still came to get stuck in. Even when he got whooped. He didn't come to get whooped and try and survive. And he always give it his best for the first few rounds. And then run out of gas. Same as Lennox to be fair. Lennox never. You never saw him. Well. He wasn't the most ferocious. But that was more to do with his style as such. Lennox was never a massive inside fighter was he? Yes he'd, get, he'd step in and throw one, a couple of shots in there and step out. But in the main. He was vicious though, don't get me wrong, he was vicious when he needed to be, and he had that oomph about him. So, this for me would come at the perfect time, seeing two old heads get stuck in, is what the heavyweight division needs right now. We need these young cats to have a bit of shame in their hearts, we need these young cats to feel embarrassed, you know what, if these two old heads can get in there and give it their all, we can, we can step up in our prime and do the same and either way putting that stuff to the side it's going to be exciting and I, I, I just want to see it bottom line but I do want it to be a real fight I don't want to watch an exhibition again because exhibitions are, there's too much politics exhibitions should be called politics politicians because <laughs> they, they, they have to negotiate the fight just call it a fight go in for knockouts so I think in exhibitions you can't knock someone out, or something like that. It's some, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what the law is, but I'm sh I know that it ain't a real fight. It's some sort of fixed thing, it's weird, it's goofy. I don't want to watch that. I want to watch, come back, and do a proper sanctioned fight. 
And let's not forget, these men allegedly sold a million pay-per-views last time versus Roy Jones, and it wasn't even a proper fight. So I guess from their point of view, maybe they're saying, well, what's the point? It's not real any anyway. Well, sorry, what's the point doing a real fight because we're getting paid big money to do a fake one? I don't know, man. I feel that if you're training, do a real one. Because it's not like... It's not like you're not in shape. You've had 20 years of not being hit, so get in there. And it's not like you're going up against a young gun. You're going up against someone your own age, so they're gonna, they're not going to be. As, they're, both of you are not going to be as powerful. So therefore, both of you are not going to be as at risk as you would be going in there. It's not like let's not forget Hopkins and Roy Jones. They were going in there at 50 against young, young, young up and comers. That's dangerous, I admit. But going in there against two granddads is fine, in my opinion.